happy welcoming in a special guest, trainer, colleague, friend, Gary Mandela. How are you this afternoon? Everything's good, Nick. How are you? All right. It's great to uh, great to uh, bring you on here at HR TV and living the life. She is certainly one that, uh, well, I climbed on board to the Breeders' Cup Philly Mare Sprint last year because I'm a believer, and I've always uh, believed in her ability. I think you, you've you done a, a wonderful job kind of testing kind of what may actually make her tick, and it, it's obvious that she's a synthetic specialist. How did she come out of her uh, her victory here this past weekend? Oh, a little bit tired, but, but very sound. Um, you, you know, she, we're very lucky that she's able to – travel the way that she does to get to Erie because for those who don't don't realize Erie's in the northwest corner of Pennsylvania and it's 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 pretty out of the way no matter what you're doing so we fly her into Lexington and it's about a six-hour van ride from there and some horses you know just wouldn't take that and still do well but she's so smart and so kind that we can do things like that and and send her in a week ahead and and it's worked out both times but but it is a lot and she lost a little bit of weight from it and so <clears throat> instead of bringing her right home we actually just vanned her down to Lexington and she's going to spend a week at Darby Dan Farm and get spoiled to tears there uh, as as she deserves and then she'll fly back home here to California and we'll figure out where her next race is after we get her back in training a couple of weeks do you think uh, at, at this stage of the game you know you've obviously tried you know, some different services, whether, you know, she's been on dirt, she's tried grass, she's, at least on paper, you know, she's truly a synthetic track specialist. You know, I know the options going forward are limited. Is she one that you would consider perhaps maybe stretching her out, or is she just simply a one-turn specialist? We had designs to do that earlier in the year because Mike Smith had, had been begging us to do it, even as, as early as last year after the Masters. Um you know, but last year we wanted, after the Masters, we wanted to try the Breeders' Cup because it was seven furlongs. And, uh, you know, she got really sick right after that race. And, and I think she just, you know, that kind of crept up on us. It was one of those things we didn't see coming, and and and, and it took away from her performance, and that was the excuse with that. Um, I actually had it in mind to run her in uh, – after she won the Camilla Orso, there's a stake up at Golden Gate Fields on synthetic that's long, but it was against the boys. I think it was Memorial Day weekend. And I, I, I didn't mind taking on the boys as long as it was on synthetic with her because if I run her long on the dirt and she doesn't run well, then I don't know whether it was the distance or the surface. So I wanted to do that, but she got sick before that race as well. It was that kind of a spring with her. She just kind of on and off healthy. But things really came around after that. And her race at Santa Anita in the early summer is much better than it looks on paper. She just every time any dirt would hit her in the face, would just refuse to go into it no matter. And, and we'd been breezing her for a year on dirt behind it, trying to get her used to it. She just, she just doesn't like it and she's not going to get over it. So going into the Los Alamitos race, we actually fitted her with a pair of goggles and she ran much better. We just happened to hook a filly of Bob that really ran off the charts that day, but I thought she ran a very good second. And I, I think on dirt, that's what you'll see from her going forward with that equipment change. I think she's a good filly on dirt, but I think she's a superior filly on synthetic. And at some point next year when we start to map out a calendar, because she is very sound and there's a very good chance she'll stay in training next year, I would like to try maybe some two-turn races, even on the dirt, because that's one way to take dirt in your face out of the equation, to run her longer and let her gallop along on the lead and see what happens. You know, it, obviously, you know, I'm sure that, you know, with Del Mar – Having been uh, quite quite an exciting meeting with, with your father winning uh, with the holder uh, for Mr. Hughes and things uh, moving forward for that uh, double champion that she is as she marches on toward championship weekend. But I wanted to ask you about a horse that uh, pretty much kind of kept your, your Del Mar meeting together. And I know having been a former trainer, I know how hard it is to win at Del Mar, regardless of what class level horse you have. But I wanted to ask you about No Silent. You know, he was a multiple winner there at uh, Del Mar. I, I thought you did a, a fine job with placing him effectively. It seems as if he has confidence back. Where do you go from here off of those two win wins that he put together? Boy, that's a good question. Because you look at his overall form, and even when he was a, truly a stakes horse, he never ran that well down the hill. And, and I'm sure you've had horses like that, too, when you're training. Nick. Some horses just don't go for it. And the opposite. Some horses love that more than anything else. His form suggests he just doesn't like it that much, and I don't have 
any real option other than jumping him all the way up into stakes competition at Santa Anita to do that. And he's run well on synthetic up at Golden Gate Fields. I would have loved to have just put him in a little open allowance race up there to give him a chance to earn some kind of purse money. But there isn't a race like that in the condition book. So I I, I don't have a real plan. But it was nice to see a, a six-year-old that needed a year off come back and get a couple of wins, like you say, against a little easier competition, especially the first time. But he'd be a pretty good field the second time in that allowance race and some nice horses in there. I think he's, you know, he's really happy right now. And I wish this, we were still at Del Mar for him and we could just go five eights on the turf again because it, it looks like he appreciates that a lot more than he does racing down the hill. So I, I don't, I don't have a real obvious next step at the moment. I'm, I'm in search of a good plan. All right, Gary. Well, you know, we, we uh, certainly appreciate you taking out your valuable time uh, for us. And, you know, I, I can't say enough for the job you've done with living life, considering you when know, horses get sick, regardless of the level of their illness, it, it's very difficult to get them back to their A game. And regardless of the fact that uh, living life loves the surface there at Presque Isle, the uh, Tapita in uh, Erie, PA, that's a tremendous accomplishment to come back and do what you did. So I salute you, my friend. And Keep up the good work, and I'm wishing the best for No Silent. I'm a big fan of an old class horse that's uh, on his A game. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it very much.